Good morning and welcome to Yay Summer School Showcase. My name is Jawan and I'll be one of your hosts. Okay, so I'm going to begin uh, good morning again with the land acknowledgement and O Canada, then we will begin. So we acknowledge the land we are meeting on is the traditional territory of many nations, including the Mississaugas of the Credit, the Anishinaabe, the Chippewa, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples, and is now home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples. We also acknowledge that Toronto is covered by Treaty 13 Hi. with the Mississaugas of the Credit. Uh, I'm, I'm still having people joining. That's okay. Please stand for the playing of O Canada. And just have some patience with me here, please. Please, 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 I'm just uh, sharing the screen. Can you see my screen? Hello? Not yet. No. Nothing yet. No. Thank you. 
too much silence. That means you didn't hear a thing, right? <laughs> no, we did. Well done. Oh, that was good. beautiful. Very good. Yeah, very beautiful. Okay. Host? Now I'd like to pass it on to Ms. Jones to talk about the summer camp. Okay. And before I speak, can we say, uh, give a big thank you to our host, Jawan, from Mr. Hassan's class, and Funmi from Ms. G's class. Can we give them a big round of applause? <laughs> Excellent. It takes a lot of courage for students to stand up and speak. So well done. Um, as you know, I am the principal of Yes. It's been an honor. It's been a privilege. And I love to show, uh, I'm a visual person. So I wanted to show a little video just to share what I think about Yes. And you know this person really well. One minute again. Nope. Tell me when if you when you see it, please. Do you see it? Hello? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes. Five time champion. The only guard to play with one team for 20 years. Yes. Yes. You know, I don't quit. I'm gonna keep pushing and pushing and pushing and see if I can figure this damn thing out. That's who I am, and I'll try my best, and I'll keep on, keep on going, man. My brain, it cannot process failure. It will not process failure. I love what I do. And it's as simple as that. I get so much enjoyment from it. Once I made that commitment and said, I want to be one of the greatest ever, then the game became everything for me. I knew that I was not going to be stopped. So at the age of 18, this was my life. So you can't possibly become better than me because you're not spending the time on it that I do. Even if you want to spend the time on it, you can't because you have other things. You have other responsibilities that are taking you away from it. So I already won. It's a lifestyle. It's a full-time commitment. You make a choice and say, come hell or hot water, or I'm going to be this. Then you should not be surprised when you are that. But we say, this cannot be accomplished. This cannot be done. But we are shortchanging ourselves. When you try hard enough, dare enough, trust yourself in it. You will always go firm. I think everybody's born with creativity, but I believe it's the trust and yourself and trusting your emotions to, mm -hmm. to talk to yourself, so to speak. To become your own psychologist. To let your emotions mm -hmm. out on a piece of paper. To not be afraid of anything. Not be afraid of what people think. Not be afraid of what people may say. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself. Thank you. That was, that's, uh, first of all, rest in peace, Kobe. I know we're still in shock about that, but we all have our time. And uh, what I like, what resonated with me, can you all hear me first of all? Okay. So what I love what Kobe said and what resonates with me is that he's already won. You've already won. You've made a commitment to sign up for YACE and the summer school program. You didn't shortchange yourself. You have already won because you're making sure your future is grand by being better. And we are here to celebrate 
the first remote summer school for Yes. Can we give a hand clap to everyone who's here? I am so proud of you. I am, thank you. I'm, I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of your parents for signing you up. We would not be here without you parents and students. So I appreciate it and I know all my teachers and staff do. I also know the importance of our extended family. So we want to thank our grandmas, our granddads, our aunts, our uncles, family, friends, and others who support the students in being here. We must all work together during these unprecedented times. This is not an easy time. We're worried about finances, housing, and of course, safety. But you know the importance of education. So parents, you made sure your child woke up every morning, got on Google Meet with their teachers, finished the Google Classroom assignments. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you for making sure that happened. And of course, congratulations to our teachers. Teachers, every morning, every day, I saw you building great relationships. And from my experience, and what research says, is success comes when we have strong relationships. And I know here at Yace, we do. Some of you are Yace players, and some of you are not. Some of you are TDSB, and some of you are not. But what I loved is you were building relationships there too. Everyone made each other feel safe, happy, and I know that the relationships you've started will continue and I hopefully and hopefully nurture and mature. I really want to send a special thank to my teachers for stepping up and working collaboratively with each other. Every morning we woke up and connected as a team via WhatsApp, which is amazing. I know there is no way I could do this job alone. Um, I want to thank Mr. Jones for trusting me to be your principal this summer. I want to thank Mrs. Marina for your leadership and all our conversations we had to make sure the summer ran smoothly. I am not new to Yes, but I'm back. Uh, I was a teacher years ago, and now I'm a principal. I'm just loving how it's come full circle. I really loved learning. As the principal, it's really important for me to reciprocate and learn, reciprocate the learning. So I had a great time in each class. I was learning Kahoot. I learned Spyfall. I'm still learning about Google and Google Suite. Thank you to everyone who's helped me with that. I love learning, and that's why we're here. You will hear from the students shortly about their highlights, but I was happy to really see the depth that students went from writing one to two sentences because I went into uh, Google Classrooms, and I was able to see the writing, the math, the deep discussions, the debates, the opinions that were taking place. It was beautiful about systemic discrimination, anti-Black racism, oppression in general, about our Indigenous people. Students even uh, discussed and learned about fresh water. There are certain parts of this world who do not have fresh water. Students also discussed the pros and cons of social media, and that was really interesting because we know the importance of that. And to wrap it up, YES has a mission statement, and part of it goes like this. Impact the lives of children and youth so that they grow learn and play in a context that is responsive and supportive of their needs, interests, expectations, and aspirations, thereby enhancing the likelihood of them becoming 21st century learners and global citizens. I believe we have reached that mission. Thank you. Bye. And now I'd like to turn it back to our fabulous hosts, Jawan and Fumi. At Roku Summer Camp, students have had the opportunity to discuss and learn about some of the issues that are affecting our communities, cities, and country. Mental health, equality, and systematic racism are just some of the topics that we focused on throughout this summer camp. We understand that in order to be the change we need for future generations, we need to learn 
and gain the knowledge that will help us make those changes. To start us off, we will be having Ms. Palmer present awards for some of her students in grade three. Good morning, everyone. Good so morning. morning. I want to say it was wonderful working with the grade threes this summer. Grade threes, you are all superstar. Miss Akira, Miss Kelly, and I are super proud of each of every one of you for your hard work, for your perseverance this summer. Everyone came on, they participated. So we did a point system and you were awarded for best attendance, for punctuality, um, assignment completion, class work, and um, class participation rather, and um, for most improved. So I'm gonna say there are many students in the grade three class who achieved in all five categories. So congratulations to all of you. I'm gonna start by, by presenting my screen with the awards. So for best attendance, um, the award goes to Amara. Congratulations, Amara, as well as to Nathan, who also got best attendance for punctuality. Because this is our, this is our bowlers of the Punctuality, we have Amari, who got the best So. And Bryson as well. I don't know, I do like the same but sorry, sorry Miss Palmer. I would just log in. I believe it's not me. How cool is this? The screen is on um, muted in there. Yeah, we're gonna mute. Sorry, Miss. Now then, could you mute your mic? Miss Jones, can you mute all the backgrounds with the exception of this one? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yeah, Thank you. You're on. right. <laughs> Awesome, so I'll start again. So for best attendance, we have Amara, who um, got the award for best attendance, as well as Nathan, who got a award for best attendance. For punctuality, we have two students, who are Amari, congratulations, and Bryson. For assignment completion, we have Cassius, and we have Carl. Congratulations, Cassius and Carl. For class participation, we have DeAndre, we have Jaden, and we have DRE. For most improved, we have Leandre, Zaylin, and Malik. So like, congratulations to all of you for your hard work this summer, for coming on time, for participating, and for getting your work completed. Congratulations, and I wish you guys all the best in September. Thank you, Ms. Palmer. Next, we'll be having Ms. Ali handing out some awards to her grade four students. Thank you and good morning, everyone. I, I wanna first say that I'm super proud of all the grade four students. You guys have worked tremendously hard throughout the summer term. And I was so lucky to learn from and of course with you throughout this year. Um, I am now going to present my screen so I could um, show you guys some of the award winners. Okay, so congratulations to Venetia for your, you are the recipient for the Best Attendance Award. Congratulations to Jordan Lewis. You are also the recipient of the Best Attendance Award. Congratulations to Romeo Choi. You are the recipient for the Award of Punctuality. Congratulations to Jordan Lewis. You are also a recipient for the award for punctuality. Congratulations to Janelle Carty. You are the participant for the award for class participation. Congratulations, Jordan Osage. You are the recipient for the award for class participation. Congratulations, Venetia Singla. You are also the recipient for the award in assignments completion. Congratulations, Emmanuel Richardson. You are also the recipient for the award of assignments completion. 
And congratulations to Casey Williams. You are the recipient for the award for most improved. Yes, Casey. And of course, <laughs> congratulations to Cashel Wire. You are the award for the recipient of most improved. I want to say thank you all through all for all of your hard work throughout the summer. I am so lucky to have been your teacher and I am tremendously proud of, proud of you and look forward to seeing all of your success um, in September in the new school year. Yay! Yay! Yes, good course. Well done, grade three, so far. Thank you, Ms. Ali. We're going to take a few minutes to talk about two wonderful people. Who, John? Myself and you. I think that's a great idea. My name is Joan. I currently go to Pine Grove Public, Public School. Some of my favorite subjects are mathematics, language arts, and science. When I grow up, I would like to be an NBA player and play for the Chicago Bulls. And my name is Fumi. In September, I'll be going to the University of Ottawa. Um, my future job would be a certified professional accountant. And my favorite basketball player is Kyle Lowry. Well, now that you Yay! Well, now that you spoke know a little bit about us, you can continue on with the show. Next, we'll be having Mr. Hassan present some awards to his grade five students. Good morning, everyone. Nice to see you. Good everyone morning. Here. My name is Mr. Hassan. I was uh, the grade five teacher at Yates this summer, and I had a, a wonderful group of students. But before I present my awards, I would like to thank my, my counselors. So Patrika and Hansa, who, who showed up every day and came with a smile and positive energy. I, I just want to thank them for all their hard work. They're a great group of counselors, and I couldn't have done it without them. So thank you, girls. Um, so yes, let's let's get into it. I had the pleasure of working with the grade five students who were hardworking and, and determined students who every day love to come in and ask questions and and complete their work with no issues. And, and, and for me as a teacher, I think that was amazing to see. So let me just present my screen. How do we present this? Oh, there we go. Okay, right. can you guys see? Yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, so for attendance, I had the two students that myself and the counselors decided to, to, to go with was Tawan Robinson. So congratulations, Tawan. And Nevaeh Lee. So congratulations to Tawan and Nevaeh. For class participation, I had Tawan Robinson and Ewan Smith, who were very great with coming into class and, and partaking every day. So I was very happy with their effort. Thank you, boys, for that. Um, assignment completion. We had Jawan Bailey, so who's our host. Congratulations, Jawan. And Daniel John. Congratulations, Daniel. Most improved were the two students that me and myself and counselors thought were that deserved this award was Brilliant Burger and Quentin. So congratulations to Brilliant and Quentin. Big and boys. Congratulations, guys, and best of luck in the, or in the new school year. I know you guys are going to do wonderful. Congratulations. So before you, host, before you continue, I am used to asking the audience to wait to the end and clap. But we don't have to do it that way. You want to clap after each one or at the end? Don't all speak at once. <laughs> at the end or during? Maybe, maybe we probably just clap at the end. Maybe we do at the end. OK. Um, yeah, because then everybody keeps putting the mics off. And so maybe we just do at the end right after. We just applaud and for everybody. And I can tell you are all well trained. Your mute, your mics are off. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, Thank host, you. back to you. Thank you, Mr. Hassan. Next, we'll be having Mr. Salik handing out some awards to his grade six students. Okay, I want to say um, thank you for the kids and the parents in the grade six class that was diligent in showing up every morning. And 
going on to do the attendance and the punctuality award, I think it's good to differentiate between both awards. The attendance is those who come regularly and punctuality is those who come regularly on time. As we know, time is valued. Even if you're going for a job interview, don't show up five seconds late. You might lose your job before you get one. So for attendance, it is Naya Pullman and Andrew Brown. I could depend that they'll be there every day. Um, punctuality, come in every day and on time, Xavier Maynard and Lamar Joseph. And consistency with work completion throughout the whole summer. I couldn't give it to just two kids because there's a group of, th these three were consistent in their work completion, the quality of their work, the improvement in their work. Xavier Maynard, Lamar Joseph, and Kamari Joseph. And I must say this time, this is also a family, a family mission to make sure the kids are on there on time. So it's not just a congratulations to the, to the students, but to their families as well. Maybe grandma, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, they're all part of the package. Um, participation online, Lamar Joseph and Xavier Maynard. Most improved. Andrew Brown and Kamari Joseph. I want to say congratulations to them for their hard work, their diligent um, attitude towards work, being meticulous. And also, most of all, I hope that they continue what they started this summer into the next school year. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well done. Thank you, Mr. Salik. Now we'll be having Mrs. Morena say a few words about the camp. Hi, good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Um, my name is Ms. Morena. I am the administrator for YACE. Um, so just a quick message. This summer has definitely been bittersweet. Um, on one hand, we are all back together again for the summer. So um, welcome back um, and welcome to all the new families that have joined us this year. And on the other hand, we have been we can't be together. So it's bittersweet because we're together, but we're not really together. So we can't be together like how we want to be. We're used to seeing all the parents in the morning, uh, dropping their children off at camp. You're seeing all their smiling faces, excited for the day of camp. Um, the smiles on the parents' faces when they know they can leave their children with us all day and leave. Um, just kidding. I know you guys love your children, but the children have a lot of fun with us um, and it's definitely bittersweet because we can't have that same type of camp experience that we're usually used to. Um, but despite the fact that we weren't in person though, I can say that we definitely had a lot of fun in the Google Classroom this year. Um, thank you, Ms. Jones, for being our principal this summer. We appreciate your leadership. Thank you to our teachers. You all are so amazing with our students. Our teachers truly care about the students. And I know they made sure they got them ready for their next grade. Um, counselors, you all are incredible. For some, this was your very first job with Yace, your very first job ever. I don't think you guys could have imagined that your first job would have been like this, but um, you did really, really well. Thank you. You did a great job supporting the teachers and engaging with the students. Um, parents, we wanna thank you for your patience and support as we navigate through this online platform for learning. Um, but last but not least, students, you are the best. Um, I know I remember going to college and university and was able to choose my online courses. I was like, okay, can I handle this? Um, it's hard, but I think you can do this. I have to be independent. And here you guys all are having no choice but to do this online and being able to adapt and adjust. So it's amazing to see um, you guys are doing it. It's so inspiring to see. Keep up the great work. Sorry, I have a little baby in the background asking for a pop school. That's the world of online learning. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but, you know, keep up the great work, students. Have a great rest of your summer. Enjoy, relax. You all deserve it. Um, have a great new school year. We're here for you at Yays. We're looking forward to our fall programming starting soon. Um, we'll keep you all posted up about that. But again, what a great summer we had. Looking forward to seeing you guys all back next summer. Hopefully we'll be back together. Actually, let's put it all out there. We will be back together again next summer. Um, so we're gonna put that out in the universe. We will be back together again next summer. And um, 
you know what? I should be part, start planning from now, you know, because I have to make sure that we make up for this summer and that we're all together next year and we're going to have a great summer. So have a great school year, guys. Um, we are here for you. Mr. Jones and I, the rest of the operations team, we are here for you. Um, and have a great summer and a great year, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what the weather's like outside. I don't know if it's hot, if it's cold. Thank you. Thank you for that, Ms. Marina. Now we'll be having Ms. G and Mr. Jordan presenting awards to students in grade seven and grade eight. Good morning, everyone. This is Ms. G. Um, I was teaching the grade sevens. I had the honor of working with the grade sevens this summer and they are one awesome group of kids. Um, I am so proud of them. Um, they, I know it's not easy doing um, online schooling, going for, doing it from um, April to, to June and then having to do it for another seven weeks. So I really, really am so proud that the grade sevens were able to do that. They logged in every day, they were present, they were participating. So I just wanna say thank you to them and thank you to the parents who were so understanding and on top of their kids, making sure that they were getting their work done. And also I just wanna thank my counselors, my awesome counselors, Fumi, Genesis and Radwa who were present every day and they were engaging the students and made them super excited about coming to camp. So thank you everybody for that. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen and start with the certificates. Give me a second. I think we lost her. This is, oh, there we go. Oh, she's back. Miss G, are you there? Technical difficulties. Killing the dead spot. Sorry about that, guys. I was trying to present and I got kicked out. Okay. No worries. Let me try again. These are pretty much like the technical difficulties that we had to deal with. So there's a little clip for you. Okay, let me see if this works. Are you guys able to see my screen? Definitely. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, so the um, best attendance for the grade sevens goes to Isaac Austin and uh, Jade and Jarrett. Uh, punctuality awards goes to Kyron Wire and Ava. Um, class participation goes to Mackenzie Samuels, Miles Harris, and Josiah Nias. Assignment completion goes to Adrian Lau and Aiden Pullman. And last but not least, most improved goes to Andre Thompson and Josiah Lee. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you, and I wish you best of luck for a great uh, for September coming up. Nice. Mr. Jordan. Good morning, Ace and family members. My name is Mr. Jordan. I had the pleasure of working with the best, absolute best class. See, we won't have any technical difficulties like the grade sevens, but we're going to make it happen. <laughs> Ask it was definitely a team effort and not just mine. And Alina for the students. Should I present the my screen or are you going to present Mr. Jordan? 
I'm presenting the screen. I don't know. Never mind. Can you guys see? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What's up, you cat? <laughs> okay, so the first... Sorry? Go for it. Okay, so the first certificate for best attendance goes to Amari. And then as well, Zachary gets another certificate for best attendance. Logan gets a certificate for his punctuality, as well as faith. Good job to everyone for coming on time. Joelle gets a certificate for excellent class participation, as well as Yusuf. A certificate also goes to Javen for completing all of his assignments on time and doing them, as well as Kainu. Faith gets an award for most improved, as well as Jesse. So those are all our certificates for the grade eight class, Mr. Jordan. Thank you so much, Ms. G and Mr. Jordan and Elena. Um, now we'll be watching a video that was put together by Miss Ali and Mr. Jordan. This video highlights some of the great things that happened throughout the summer camp. Please make sure your microphone is muted so that everyone can hear the audio clearly. Before we play the video, I would re be remiss if I didn't mention, and if, forgive me if I did, our counselors. So Ms. Ms. Marina spoke about our counselors, but I just wanted to say what a great bunch, a great bunch of leaders, a great bunch of learners. They really jumped in, worked in small groups with the students, and there are relationships there that have started building, and I hope they continue throughout the year. Thank you, counselors. So, Mr. Jordan, did you want me to present that video? Or can you? Oh, you miss. Take it away. I, I, could you? Sure. Thank you. And while Mr. Uh, Jordan is presenting this, this was all done by Mr. Jordan and Ms. Ali. The work they collaborated together and put this fabulous video together. You'll see. You will agree in a minute when you see it. Thank you, Jordan and Ali. Sorry, Miss Ali and Mr. Jordan. There was definitely a group effort. We have our cameraman, Mr. Uh, Chris, who was out there helping us get it all together, and all of our wonderful uh, participants who allowed us to film them, including the kids and our uh, yay staff. So a shout out goes to them as well, Miss. Thank you. And uh, uh, thank you to every teacher for putting their hands on the certificates. Miss Palmer, uh, Miss G, the invitation, Mr. Hassan, working with our hosts to create the script. Amazing. Mr. Salik, helping out with the video, of course. And Miss Ali and Mr. Jordan, I covered. I covered everyone. They all had a hand in it. Thank you again. Oh, I'm gonna start in three. Uh, Miss, did you post a link? I will. I will. Yeah. So there might be technical difficulties where uh, people may not be able to hear and see it properly. So I do uh, encourage you to um, to click on the link on that's on YouTube. Uh, if it's giving you an issue, and if someone can post that, actually, I'll just post it right now. So the link has been posted by myself and Miss Marina. And I'm going to play the video in three, two, one.
It has always been a dream of ours to make a difference in our community. Ironically, I think dreams are simply a succession of images. It was playing nicely. Where's the video? Where's the volume? Mr. Jordan, um, there isn't a volume at all. Oh, yeah. There was volume and then it stopped. Um, can I get Hope? Hope, do me a favor. You see the link? Actually, yeah, I'll start it and play it twice and play the audio from my phone. Okay. Okay. Give me one second. Okay. Thanks for your patience, folks. Okay. It's been a dream of ours to make a difference in our communities. All right, you ready? Ready. It has always been a dream of ours to make a difference in our communities. Ironically, they say dreams are simply a succession of images and emotions flowing through our minds. Still, 13 years ago, what began with the dream unraveled into an intended plan, a vision, a strategic course of actions to make change. This is Yates, Youth Association for Academics, Athletics, and Character Education. Engage youth from marginalized communities in year-round comprehensive programming and activities, including programs in academic, athletics, the arts, and technology. Our social inclusive strategy aims to remove barriers and challenges that youth face. We offer expanded opportunities for youth to receive access to structured pathways to bridge learning gaps, while giving them the opportunities to grow and learn from our recreational programs. This is not just a basketball court. Students are met with engaged and caring coaches who not only provide skilled commitments, but lifelong lessons that prepare them for success. You see, this is not just a basketball court, but it's a process, a journey, where our kids graduate from our programs and return for peer mentorship opportunities. This is not just a basketball court. We are a family of parents and community members who support youth towards achieving their goals. Some people we study. 
Good job, good job. Good job, good job. Good job. Yes, yes, yes. This is what happens remotely. Really well done. Really well done. Great, great video. Host? That was a lovely video. Thank you to Miss Ali and Mr. Jordan for taking the time to create that wonderful video for us. Now, Mr. Jones will be saying a few words to wrap up the showcase. You're, you're muted, Mr. Jones. Sorry. Thank you. I want to thank the incredible crew that made this summer possible, that allowed 
for the amazing work we do at work. Yeah, I mean, we, we had to, uh, in March, we had to do a complete pivot and restructure the way we program, the way we plan, the way we coordinate, um, the way we make um, resources and, and programs accessible to, uh, 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 to kids and community. And uh, Marina, Coach Chris, Coach Jordan, Coach Shad, that's an integral part of, of what we do. Uh, this summer, we had awesome teachers in Ms. Palmer, Ms. G, Ms. Ali, Mr. Salik, Mr. Jordan, Mr. Hassan, that, that, that really. Uh, Sorry, Mr. Jones. Sorry, Mr. Jones. Um, Cashel Mir. Um, yeah, Cashel, can you please mute? Cashel. Thanks. Yes, thank you. Yeah, this, I mean, we had, uh, we have, uh, we had amazing teachers this summer in Ms. Palmer, Ms. G, Ms. Ali, Mr. Salik, um, you know, Mr. Jordan and Mr. Hassan um, that, uh, that made, that made this all possible. Uh, we have an amazing principal and administrator, Ms. Jones. Ms. Jones, we appreciate you so much. And the folks at the, T at the TDSB, um, Lord Red and Karen, thank you so much. Um, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the amazing partners and funders um, that were part of this process because operationalizing a, a, a program of this magnitude and this scale um, with close to with, with over 200 kids and uh, over 40 youth staff that was employed it, you know it, 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 there's, there's a lot of moving parts so I want to thank the partners of TDSB the TCDSB laid law CIBC service Canada VPI uh, Black Creek uh, the incredible folks of the pinballs uh, the, and the incredible folks at the pinball Clemens Foundation. Uh, this summer, uh, we had the opportunity to engage students, not only virtually, but there was also a component um, uh, that was that was in person at, 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 at 45 North Ridge, the second half of the day. And as we move into the fall, um, things are still uh, uh, things are still not certain. But regardless of what, it's going to continue to deliver quality, incredible programming to the incredible kids in this program who came online every day, you didn't have to, but you came online, you completed your work, you got your stuff done, we appreciate you. The amazing counselors, uh, for some of you, this was your first job, you were incredible. We're so proud of you. Um, and moving forward, we're hoping that you can you can work with us here at, 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 at Yes, at Yes, at Yes, at Yes again. Um, uh, it was it was an incredible summer. Let me tell you, it was incredible. Uh, we're proud of everyone that was involved. Uh, we're proud of all our staff. And not certain what the plans are for September, because we're also trying to figure stuff out. But regardless of what, yes, is going to exist as this constructive ecosystem that we always are. And uh, we'll be here to deliver programs. So thank you, thank you, thanks to everyone that was a part of this process. Um, and uh, enjoy the rest of your summer. Be safe. And let's do it again in the fall. And let's do it again next year. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Jones. At this time, we would like to open the mic to any parents, guardians, or community members that would like to say a few words mm -hmm. about summer camp or Yates. Remember to mute your mic so everybody can hear you clearly. And, and before parents, but, um, if, for those parents who would like to speak, we'd really love to hear from you. But I'd like to join Mr. Jones in also thanking uh, Norbert, Karen, and Melvin. And if you didn't think I have a boss, I do. They are my bosses. So I do have to answer to someone as well. And all the members at Con Ed for helping with report cards and attendance and just making sure the ship ran smoothly. Thank you very much. It was rocky at the beginning, but things smoothed out. So thank you to 
our special guest as well for being here. So parents, can we hear from you? Like, Because like I said, we wouldn't be here without you. Any parents like to speak? Talk about your experience? Yes, I would, I would like to see. This is Casey Williams' mom. I Welcome. Very, thank you. I was very impressed with um, with Miss Ali and her style in, in teaching. She's quite patient. Um, I even inquired of Casey, which school does Miss Ali teach? Because um, <laughs> She is an excellent teacher, and I will say well done to the YES, um, to the YES team for holding this um, virtual summer camp. I kudos to you all. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, hi. This, can I speak? Yes, please. This is Auntie Sharon. Kaino's mom, Joel's aunt. Welcome. And also the um the representative, the ward um for Piac Rep as well, parent rep, co-chair at Emory and co-chair at Humber Summit. And um been a parent with um Yes for a while. However, um I'm always having challenges to um I'm all, I'm not punctual. I can tell Kaino never got, got an award for punctuality, but that's good. Um, but I wanted to say, though, um, thumbs up. I've always encouraged uh, parents to um, send their kids to participate in YACE because the program is extremely, extremely um, accommodating. And um, it is an eye-opener when we get there. It's a family-friendly environment. The um, teaching staff, amazing. Um, I want to say kudos and thumbs up to Mr. Jordan, Kenneth Jordan. Oh, he had patience with my two boys, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, they did go kicking and screaming, so to speak, and at the end, they say, Mommy and Auntie, thank you. I've learned so much, and I'm ready for grade nine. And I wanted to say um, thanks to, um, to him and his staff, and thanks to the entire team. I'm always out there advocating for yes, and I've always encouraged a lot of uh, parents to go to go to Yes because of the, the the program it offers, and it's not about basketball. It's about okay. um, it's about ac academics. We just use basketball, and I'll say for Jones, Jones would say it, we use basketball to bring the kids in, but it's the academic is the key. And I've been watching and seeing it, and I get yelled at at Jones in the background, "Mommy, I need to see Kainu in the academic program." And I said, "Okay, <laughs> okay, no problem." <laughs> One other thing I wanted to point out, um, Mr. Jordan, I want to thank you with all my heart to support a little boy named Yusuf. His mom may be online and is a child that needed the support and um, he's very shy. And Mr. Jordan and his crew was able to get him to a comfort zone, prepare him for grade nine. Thank you. And all the yeah. best. Mr. Jordan, look at that. Miss Ali, look at that. I know all the teachers' hands are grateful for all of you. Any other parents? Hi, everyone. Um, Bryson's mom here. Um, I just want to thank uh, Ms. Palmer. Bryson woke up this morning uh, upset that the Summer Institute was over. Aww. So I know it's been a great summer for him. And I want to thank Ms. Palmer for engaging him, keeping him motivated, excited to complete his schoolwork. He really, he really, really enjoyed it and is very sad that it's over. I want to thank the Yace organization as well. Bryson's been with Yace since he was in JK, so he's a he's a Yace baby. And I want to thank Yace for continuing to develop him um, academically and um, athletically as well. So uh, thank you to the entire uh, Yace Purple family. Thank you. <laughs> Very nice. Thank you. Maybe maybe a couple more parents. Oh. And we have a trustee who would like to speak as well. And before we um, move to you, Mr. Mamalati, Mr. Lowe, Mr. Melvin Lowe is online. And I know my teachers are grateful. I know I am grateful for all the technical support. Mr. Lowe, can you show your face? Are you here? I know you're here. I am, I'm here right now. I don't know if you can see me. There you are. 
There's Hello. Melvin. There's the face of IT. <laughs> Thank you for having me today. And uh, uh, teachers, thanks for being very patient. We, we did uh, behind the scene, uh, Mr. Costa, myself, uh, Ms. Murray, we, we did our best to ensure all the students were on as soon as possible. Um, uh, I guess some of the parents here, you got a hold of me too um, for my number. And uh, thank you for being patient and uh, contacting us. Uh, uh, we, we were doing our absolute best to get everyone going online. This was, uh, as you know, was the first time that uh, as a board at TDSB, we went fully online. And as the uh, coordinator coach, it, it was very challenging. But you know what? I'm very happy. Kudos to the admin. Kudos to the teachers for running such a fantastic program. But, you know, overall, students, thank you for uh, joining. Without you, we wouldn't get this opportunity to run such a great program and we're looking forward to hearing your feedback uh it is um it is a part of your report if you could do that so that when we plan again for the year for next year uh it will give us that information we need to move forward so thank you miss jones for letting me speak and um you know uh please do enjoy your little break before school starts again oh that's right just it's just around the corner thank you melvin appreciate it and Mr. Mamaliti, trustee Mamaliti, go ahead. Yeah, I'll be very quick. Um, I guess my messaging is probably uh, directed to the entire Yates community and team. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for your dedication, the time you put into the youth. Um, it's invaluable. We see it. We know it. Um, but the message I really want to get across is that uh, a community uh, is what you see right now. A community is not defined by any parameters. It's defined by the group that it makes up. Um, and standing together and working together is how you accomplish things. Um, we're proud. I'm more than proud of Yace. I speak so glowingly of Yace everywhere I go, um, not just because it's in our community, but because of the work you're doing and, and the, the team environment that's created to, to put this work on. Um, watching all the smiles and all of this youth, the youth face is just, it's rewarding on a trustee level. Um, but on a community level, uh, it's even more rewarding. So I thank everybody for their time. Um, all us, all you young people who put your time in here and put your effort in, there is no substitute for hard work. Um, continue to work hard, continue to set goals and accomplish them. And your community, whether that's Ward 4, Humber River, Black Creek, Toronto, Canada, we're here for you, we're behind you, we're gonna be here to support you any, any way we can. Never be shy to continue to reach out to your team. So again, congratulations to you all and thank you so much for all the work you do. Thank you so much. Anyone else like to speak last words? This, uh, and if we've missed anyone, I apologize, but I think this has been an amazing job. Anyone else like to speak last words? Yeah. Maybe a coach? I have a question to ask, please. <laughs> Hello? Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, I've been looking out for your, um, for your programs, and I recognize that most of your um basketball and everything else offer is offered only on saturdays um so i would like Casey to take that but because we are seven day adventist um she's not able to take part in any extracurricular activities so i don't know if that's something that you all would consider um any other day to take into consideration seven day adventist that our kids could also participate yeah, we're, 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 we're in the process of trying to um, uh, resolve. It's an issue of space and permits, and there isn't much available on a Sunday, but we're in the process of trying to change that. Um, so, I mean, you can you can reach out to me directly. I'm Devon uh, Jones. Um, my info is on the website, or you can just call me at 416-617-5121. But it's an issue of space and permits. Uh, the, 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 the ministry don't allocate resources for permits on a Sunday. So before, uh, back in the day, when we first started, we had Sunday permits. But as um, the funding structure changed, that, that, that piece of it changed. We'll, we'll do our best, we'll do our best to accommodate. Uh, it's, it's, it's challenging. And also, there's also the evenings, right? So we're looking at... We're looking at doing things differently, but 
um, again, again, it boils down, it boils down to, uh, to space. Okay, could I get that number again, please? Yes, 416-617-6108. Mm -hmm. And Thank if you call you. me, you don't get me, just text me. What's, what's your first name? It's Karen. Karen, your last name is Brown? Williams, C-A-R-O-N Williams. Williams. Okay, cool. All right, Miss Williams, just, uh, just drop me a line. All right, thank you. All right, cool. So everyone, uh, great job. Uh, great job. Um, the, 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 all the folks involved in making this thing operational, well done. Um, talk about pivoting. I mean, talk about first-rate programming, talking about staff who's never complaining. They just take it on the chin and they just get it done day after day after day after day. Exquisite effort. Well done. Par excellence. Well done. To the young people in the program, listen, it's it's about ambition. It's about drive. Um, and uh, you superseded our, our highest expectations. And please continue to do so. To all the youth in the program, uh, going off to high school, uh, going off to college, we wish you the best. Remember, Yes is always here to support you. So whatever issues you might have, if you're going to college or university, whatever challenges you might have, Myself is available, Miss Marina is available, uh, Coach Chris is available, the teachers are available. Listen, we're here to support you in any capacity. Just reach out to us. So if you start college, you start if you start college or university and you start struggling, we've all been through that process. Just check in with us. We're here to support you. So well done. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all again. And thank you so much. And to our funders and per, uh, partners, uh, 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 Coach Mama Lily talk about a community. This is the definition of community, and that's how we change. That's how we change the narratives in particular community by us becoming ecosystems, ecosystems of hope, ecosystems of possibility, and ecosystems of change. This is what change looks like. So thank you so much for all your effort. Thank you so much for your for generosity, and thank you so much for your commitment. Appreciate you all. Thank you. Well said, Jones. Well said. I think we need Michael Jackson's song, Make That Change. <laughs> Go and sing it, Miss Jones. Sing it. <laughs> you don't want to do you don't don't get me started. <laughs> Make that change. I'm standing with the man in the mirror. Okay. Um <laughs> can we get the team to stay on. Can the team stay on? And everyone else have a great, great, great rest of the summer, rest of the day. It's the weekend. Thank you, Juwan. Thank, Thank you, Juwan. Juwan and Fumi. Juwan. Well done, my boy. Bye. Juwan Thank you. Thank you, Juwan. 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 Thank Bye. Bye. Have a great, great, great Bye. summer. Have a good summer. Have a good summer. Who's that? That was. Yeah. Hey! Hey, who played that? Hey! <laughs> good job, Coach. Good job, Coach. Gonna make a difference. Gonna make a difference. Okay, let's go.